This weekend, the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series was in Dover for 400 laps at the Monster Mile. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. NASCAR Hall of Famer Bobby Allison waved the green and pole sitter Denny Hamlin led them into turn one. He would be out front until lap 42 when Martin Truex Jr. took the lead. Truex would force the issue with Hamlin going three wide early in the race, but the 78 would make it work. Martin wanted that lead, but he wanted that lead. Holy smoly. Later on lap 163, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. brings out the caution, and that puts Dale Earnhardt Jr. back on the lead lap. The round of pit stops would be less than routine for last week's winner, Carl Edwards. A wedge wrench gets hung in Carl Edwards' car. Edwards takes off and drags the crew member with him. They would have to pit again to repair a guide tube for the track bar adjuster. And just over 10 laps later, Trevor Bain pinches Michael Annette against the wall. That sends Bain into the inside wall. Annette and Justin Allgaier make contact in the process. The 6 and 51 would be out of contention after that one. Just past the halfway point, Truex still out front, and Kyle Busch, just weeks back from an injury, finds himself running second. He takes that spot from his teammate, Matt Kenseth. The hard way. He's going around the outside here. He just gassed it up. Bush trying to become the fourth and final Joe Gibbs Racing driver to win a race this year. Green flag stops start around lap 248. That allows Kyle Busch to take the lead when Martin Truex pits. Kyle leads his first laps of the year. Lap 251, Dale Jr. cracks the top 10 but gets a speeding penalty on pit road. Carl Edwards also has another pit road penalty, taking them both out of contention. After things cycle through, Kevin Harvick is your leader. Kevin Harvick has yarded the field. He's 1.7 seconds out in front. That's one of the biggest leads anybody's had today. 25 laps to go, Kyle Busch running third. Bush and Brian Scott get together. Both drivers would walk away from the incident, but not the date Bush was looking for as he tries to crack the top 30 in points, get a win, and lock up a spot in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. We weren't going to win today, but it um, doesn't help when you finish 40th. With 15 to go, Clint Boyer gets into Denny Hamlin. Hamlin gets out of shape. He collects Kurt Busch and the rest of the field, able to dodge the action. With two to go, Casey Mears slows on the high side of the track. Greg Biffle, he's going to get into him. That'll bring out the caution, setting up a green-white checkered finish. Jimmy Johnson takes off on the final restart as Kevin Harvick and Kyle Larson are able to get by Casey Kane and Martin Truex Jr. Johnson goes on to win his 10th race at Dover, his fourth of the year, and that all adds up into career win 74 for the six-time champ. It all came together for us very late in, uh, in the race, but once we had our opportunity, we took advantage of it. And next week, the series heads to Long Pond, Pennsylvania for 400 miles at Pocono Raceway. For NASCAR, I'm Jonathan Merriman.